Welcome to the 2017 Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race. Empowered with SRAM, the next stop on the UCI Women's World Tour as the best professional cyclists make their way to South Lake Tahoe for the first stage of a beautiful race. Brad Soner here with Laura Winter of Vox Women for what I think is one of the most beautiful stages in the women's professional peloton. Thanks, Brad. It really is. Look at those shots. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm so excited to be back here for this race. Well, no shortage of talent here in California starting with the 71-time U.S. national champion, Corinne Rivera. A lot of eyes on her. Anna Vanderbregen for the Bulls Dolmans team. She'll be a key player in helping Megan Garnier defend her win. People are putting a lot of pressure on me, but, you know, after the spring, I'm just taking it day by day, and I'm going to go out there and do my best. And we have a super strong team here, and uh, uh, looking forward to, to some Bulls Dolman success today and doing our best. Of course, you had a difficult spring um, after a crash in just the second race of the season, and of course that concussion. Um, what's your form like now? You know, it, it, I'm continuing to progress. I, I got back in the Ardennes Classics just a few weeks ago, and every day we see a little bit better, so uh, that's positive. And racing here, home soil in the national stripes as well. What does this race mean to you? Yeah, I'm so happy to be here with my Dutch registered team, Bulls Dolmans, and it'll be a lot of fun, and we'll go out there and uh, have, have a good time. Best of luck today. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, well, everyone anxious to watch the Bulls Dolmans team as Megan Garnier will lean on her teammate, Anna Vanderbregen, the first to pull off the Ardennes triple, and her opponent, Corinne Rivera, the first American to win Flanders. Corinne, you've come into this race in great form. Two World Tour wins already. Are you a favorite today? Uh, yeah, I think so, for sure. I uh, had a good start of the season uh, in my home state, so uh, good to put a show on this week. And this finish, it's a significant climb. Do you think you can stick there with the likes of Anna van der Breggen and Megan Garnier? Yeah, I'll give him my best shot. Last year I got seventh. Uh, this year at Flash I got seventh. It's not the same kind of climb, but uphill finish. So, um, yeah, I'm getting stronger, improving every year, and hopefully I can improve on last year. Most importantly, have you had your bacon today? I actually have. So luckily we're in American Hotel and it's the right kind of bacon. So I've got my fill in for the day. Now, just to explain that, Brad, I've heard that Karim Rivera has got her father and her boyfriend to smuggle American bacon for her from the States over to Europe where she trains with her team somewhere. Oh, whatever it takes. No, no bacon like American bacon. Let's take a look at the course as the riders will basically do, be doing one big loop around Lake Tahoe. There is one uh, first climb at Emerald Bay. It's just a small Category 3 climb. Then they go through the sprint line in Tahoma. But it's really all about the finish. That final climb coming to the line is where this race is going to be won and lost. Yep, it really is, Brad. We can see now the final 5K on this map here. And as they take those left-handers, that's where they're really going to have to watch out. Uh, the road really kicks up after they go underneath the red flag inside the final kilometer. You can see the elevation profile here with the sting is in the tail in the course today. We caught up with three-time Olympic gold medalist Kristen Armstrong to give her thoughts on the stage today. Stage one's around the lake here um, of Tahoe and you know you can't underestimate this because the altitude uh, I went out riding today and it's like breathing through a straw and I'll never forget the last 10 kilometers of this race last year you're holding on for dear life because everyone wants to get to the left hand turn um, it's going to climb up to about a little bit less than 2k up to a very very steep finish line at Heavenly Resort and those last 500 meters it's basically all out and positions change people go too early and they're flying off the back so to me, stage one can be very much geared to, it could be a sprinter, um, because I think that the world's best sprinters can also power climb. Well, our riders getting underway in Tahoe. Kristen Armstrong made two great points about this course, talking about the altitude starting above 7,000 feet today in the power climb. Riders like Corinne Rivera absolutely have a shot on a day like today. They truly do. And we've talked about Anna van der Breggen as well as one of the contenders today, but she's actually never raced at altitude. And I just wonder what effect that is going to have on her, even though she is in unbelievable form. Uh, the riders that were able to come up to Tahoe just a few days before the race to get acclimated will have a major advantage when it comes to battling that altitude. There is Rivera sitting behind her Sunweb teammate. Her job today is just stay out of trouble until the final 2K. She's had such good form this season. Megan Garnier, though, as she said before, she's had a rough spring. She had concussion, a crash in just the second race of the season. 
and she's really on the comeback trail here. Oh, she's going to rely on Anna van der Breggen wearing the European champion's jersey, her Bulls Dolman's teammate. That's the other dangerous thing about that team. Either one of those riders could win this stage today. They have so many cards to play. On to the first KOM of the day. This is Christabel Doble Hickok of the Silence Pro Cycling Team putting in a good dig on the front, getting an early jump for the KOM points. Scotty Lechuga, another American rider on the Hoggins Berman Superman team, comes around her as they battle their way to the top of the first KOM. Just 1.2 kilometers long, this one at an average of 7.2%. So uh, not too steep and it's pretty short as well as we see Lechuga really making Doble's pay there. Yeah, look at the separation behind them as Lechuga and Double Hickok get clear of the field. That looks like United Healthcare just behind them on the front of the field, but these two are gone. So they'll pick up the first two points across the line and United Healthcare are gonna have to settle for third as they make their way to the summit. And look at the views. Those riders are going to be in so much pain. They'll be looking at nothing but stem. But behind them, my goodness me, Emerald Bay looks spectacular. All right, so there you go. Double Hickok picks up maximum points with Scotty Lechuga in second. Katie Hall picks up one point for the United Healthcare Pro Cycling Team. So they'll work their way back down off of that climb. And then the road kicks up again as we get to the finish. More gorgeous shots of this course. By the way, it was snowing here in Tahoe just a few weeks ago. Luckily, it warmed up for the Amgen Tour of California. The weather today is looking absolutely spectacular for the riders and a bit cool as well, certainly, when the wind blows. So keeping them nice and cool for this ride. This is the approach to the first sprint line of the day, the first and only sprint line of the day. That is Amy Peters in the orange jersey, putting in a good ride on the front as she gets out of the saddle. But a lot of riders responding on this sprint line. It's surprising to me that Bowles Dolmans are putting someone out in this yeah. sprint. They're playing their cards pretty early on if they're trying to save riders for that finish for Megan Garnier. Arlena Sierra takes second in the sprint, and then Barbara Guarishi third, uh, just a second back for the bonus, so she'll get one second taken off of her GC time. After that, they come back together. No reason for those riders to get into a breakaway. They know that they were just trying to pick up the, uh, the time bonuses and the sprint points. I'd imagine now the Peloton are going to sit in and make sure that nobody can get away. First big breakaway of the day that uh, looks like it's going to get some real time here. Two national champions going up the road. You got the Mexican national champion with Ingrid Drexel and then Rushley Buchanan for the United Healthcare team wearing the white jersey as the New Zealand road national champion. So two very strong riders then. I can't imagine they're going to get too much time. The Peloton really aren't going to let two strong riders like this get away, especially a rider like Drexel, who has both team pursuit and time trial expertise. I think the other concern here is that there's not enough riders to work together in this breakaway. They're going to need more than two riders if they want this to work. Looks like two more trying to come up. A pair of Americans, Mandy Heinz and Lindsey Bayer. Bayer riding for the Hoggins Berman Superman team. And Mandy Heinz out of Texas representing the visit Dallas DNA Pro Cycling Team. Looks like they've got the leaders in their sights just up the road. And as they come around the top of the lake, they are going to hit a bit of a tailwind. If the four can actually join together and work together and cooperate, this could stick. Well, Bulls Dolmans does not like this as they're putting riders on the front of the peloton. You can see them strung out here. That tells us that they're in full-on chase mode, absolutely taking this break seriously. I'd imagine the likes of Amy Peters, Caroline Canuel, and of course Anna van der Breggen have been drilling it on the front here to get this all back together again. They don't want any break to go, and they want to make sure it's all come back together for that final climb. Well, there is Buchanan on the front in the white jersey. Drexel just behind her in the green and white jersey of the Mexican national champion. As they look to be working pretty well together, but again, I think both of these riders realize they see the riding on the wall that this peloton's coming for them sooner rather than later. With the likes of Bowles Dolman in there chasing, two simply isn't enough for a breakaway to stick. We saw last year, of course, Dame Sarah Story trying to get around this lake solo, and she was caught with around 10K to go. And you can see now the catch is inevitable. Although you got to say for United Healthcare, mission accomplished. They forced Bowles Dolmans to chase, which is exactly what they wanted to do today. So Bowles Dolmans burns through one of their riders, or at least a few efforts. So mission accomplished for United Healthcare, even though the breakaway got caught. Indeed, the likes of Katie Hall will be in the mix for that final climb. So United Healthcare really playing Bowles Dolmans at their own game here.
Well, now we see both Dolmans on the front in the orange jerseys. Uh, that's going to be the situation for a lot of the final kilometers of this race. Looks like Show Air 2020 is putting some of their riders up on the front. Colavita Bianchi has riders there as well. And Silence Pro Cycling with a couple riders in the green and black jerseys. Right now, Laura, it's all about defending position, isn't it? It's about getting to the front and trying to stay there when this road kicks uphill. The wind has picked up as well, and it's a bit of a headwind coming into the finish. So riders are also going to be trying to draft, trying to stay out of trouble and keep their noses out the wind too. Well, eerily quiet in the peloton here. It's only a matter of time before the attacks start coming. You see Tibco moving up on the outside, Canyon Sram moving up as well. A quick move there from the Astana rider. Just stay on the wheel. That's the goal for the front of the peloton now. It looks cagey, doesn't it? Every single rider watching the other, making sure their teammates are in the wheel, they're protected, and they're going to be protecting their big GC riders here as well, as you see them just coming up Lake Tahoe Boulevard on their way to that final climb. Here's Sunweb coming up to the front. Team Illuminate and Hagens Berman Superman trying to move up the outside. Easier said than done to move up in this peloton because obviously the big teams are hitting it pretty hard on the front here as they uh, head to the final 5K of racing. I think looks can be deceiving here and it may look quite relaxed and that they're just pedaling along nicely in a group, but actually the pace will be ferocious and it will go up and up and up as they get towards this final climb. They're going to want to shed riders out the back and make sure the very elite are racing at the front. Yeah, the real story here may not be what's happening on the front, but what's happening on the back. We've already had several riders abandon the race, some illnesses and some riders just not able to hang with the pace here. Absolutely, as we see now the blue train of United wow. Healthcare really starting to make moves in this race and alongside them, of course, the orange of Bowles Dolmans. So looking more and more like this is going to be a straight up head to head battle between the Bowles Dolmans team and the United Healthcare blue train. Again, both teams with multiple cards to play today. United Healthcare going to be riding for you talked about Katie Hall, Ruth Winder also on good form here. And then, of course, Bowles Dolmans with a defending champion here on this course, Megan Garnier and her teammate Anna Vanderbregen. And you see them now taking this left-hand turn. And as we said, the riders shelling out the back is also part of the story here. Riders simply cannot stick with the pace that the likes of Katie Hall, Megan Garnier, Caroline Canuel, and Anna van der Breggen are setting at the front. And at this point, if you get shed out the back, you're not going to see this bike race until you get across that finish line. Back at the front of the field, United Healthcare has all hands on deck. I like the aggression by United Healthcare here, trying to catch Bulls Dolmans off guard, beat them at their own game of driving the pace at the front of the peloton. I just wonder, Brad, if they've gone too soon. I've seen how Bowles Dolmans have been racing over in Europe, and they truly are in a league of their own at the moment in these the classic races in the Ardennes Triple. I just wonder if United Healthcare have perhaps shown their cards too early. Yeah, Megan Garnier's got to be looking at this thing, and this is great. I got another team doing the work. I'll keep my riders fresh and just sit on Anna Vanderbregen's wheel, let her take me into the final couple kilometers, and then launch the sprint. So a really good situation for Bulls Dolmans here. But United Healthcare really didn't have a choice coming into this race. They had to be aggressive if they wanted a chance at the top step of the podium. Absolutely. We've seen just how dominant Anna van der Breggen, uh, Lizzie Deigen, and of course not racing here, have been for Bowles Dolmans over in Europe. And I guess United Healthcare have seen that and they're going to just take the race by the scruff of the neck and do it their way. Well, now things starting to get a little bit chaotic at the front. Here comes Canyon Sram. That looks like the British national champions kit of Hannah Barnes as drop cycling also puts riders on the front. Boy, they are really losing control at the front of this peloton now. Everyone wants a shot at the front of the race. Interesting to see. You have not seen any flash of orange at the front of this race. Bowles Dolmans are just biding their time here as the road begins to go up and up to the finish line. How about Sunweb trying to move their rider, Corinne Rivera, up? Uh, we saw Rivera last year with a top 10 finish. She could absolutely win this stage today. And Sunweb is going to do everything they can to drop Rivera off at the bottom of the climb. It would be huge for Corinne Rivera, a California native, to get a win here in her home state. We can just see now, though, Amy Peters having a go for Bowles Dolmans. This is where it's going to start, Brad. This is where Bowles are going to play their cards. First, Amy Peters will go like they did last year yeah. for Megan's victory to deliver her to the line. They're each going to have a go and try and crack this field. Hannah Barnes there just trying to stay on the wheel, but not quite managing. All right, so Peters is first to draw the sword for the Bowles Dolmans team, and she is opening up a gap here, certainly putting the field on notice. There are some alarm bells ringing back in the peloton right now. The first of what is sure to be many 
great attacks from the Bulls, Dolman's team. And again, for Peters now, this is really just about softening up the field. It's a win-win situation for Bulls, Dolman. If they don't chase, well, they've got Peters off the front. But if the other teams do chase, then Bulls, Dolman's has succeeded in wearing those other riders and teams out. Right now, Amy Peters is just saying, come on, United Healthcare, chase me down and waste your energy. Yeah, now and watch for the go. counter. There we go. We've got a counter now. I think that's Caroline Canuel there going for Bowles Dolmans. This is their tactic. Each rider will have a go at the front. As you said, Brad, win-win situation for them. And at the moment, no other team can stick with this. Who else has got an answer? Well, United Healthcare tried to control at the front, whereas Bulls Dolman's taking a much different approach to this one, launching attack after attack after attack on the front. This is Canwell off the front as she takes a look over her shoulder. She's got to like what she sees, just a, a few meters between her and the front of the peloton. And there you can see the uh, flag there for the one kilometer to go. Just 1K left, but it's all uphill, Brad, and it's going to get steeper and steeper. Caroline Canwell takes a look over her shoulder. She sees a little bit of a gap back to the front of the peloton, but look at this strung out single file on the front. It's crunch time now at the Amgen Tour of California. Canyon Tram still having a go here, but on the wheel there is Anna van der Breggen of Bowles Dolmans. As we see Katie Hall on the left-hand side of your screen, just making her move now. United Healthcare showing their cards. A big move from the American Katie Hall, first to go, but Megan Guarnier is there. Guarnier has marked the move, so uh, Hall not able to drop any significant players in the race. But how about these riders falling victim to the pace as the big guns do battle on the front of the field? Look at the damage that is being done at the back of this race these are phenomenal bike riders and you can see just how good these guys are out in front well this selection is going to be made pretty quickly we're going to have a pretty good idea of who the top 10 climbers are here at this race an attack then from anna van der bregen and she has megan garnier in her wheel there we go then these two this is where the race is won and lost you look at the face of anna van der bregen gritting her teeth here, and it looks like she's delivering her teammate and the defending champion to the line. This is exactly what the rest of the peloton was hoping wouldn't happen today. Worst case scenario for the other teams that you have two of the best riders in the world right now working together off the front of the race. That's what's happening with Van der Breggen and Guarnier right now, but it looks like they've got one on their wheel, and I believe that's going to be one of the Astana riders. And here we go then, Megan Garnier, Anna van der Breggen's job is done for the day. All she can fight for now is second. It looks like this is Megan's race to be won. Well, this is an attack that Garnier knows well. She did it last year, and it looks like she's going to do it again this year as she goes off the wheel of Anna van der Breggen and no one in sight behind her, no one on the wheel of Megan Garnier. She'll be able to celebrate the victory in Tahoe today as Megan Garnier goes back to back on stage one at the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race, empowered with SRAM. Her teammate, Anna van der Breggen, will take a second second place finish. Wow. Arlena Sierra there coming in third for Astana women, but what a win for Megan Garnier. Phenomenal after such a rough spring for her there to take the victory. Look how much it means to both of these guys as well. well no question. They couldn't have done it without each other. The teamwork was key today for the Bulls Dolman's team. So Megan Garnier picks up the stage win four seconds ahead of her teammate Anna van der Breggen with Arlena Sierra in third, seven seconds down on the stage. Ruth Winder has a solid ride to finish fourth, 10 seconds down on the day. And look how much this means to Megan Garnier to win on home soil in the national stars and stripes, but not just that. After such a difficult spring, after a concussion, which really left her questioning if it was all worth it, she's back to her very best on top step of the podium. And she's proved her doubters wrong today for sure, Brad. A lot of questions around Megan Garnier coming into this race. Those questions were answered today as Garnier moves into the yellow jersey as our overall race leader. Here's a look at your GC situation heading into stage two tomorrow with Megan Garnier in yellow with an eight second lead over her teammate Anna van der Breggen. Laura caught up with Megan after the race. Megan, what a win. We can see on your face this morning just how much pressure you are under. How satisfied are you with this win? Yeah, it's, it's incredible to be here. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it was no secret that I had a little bit of self-doubt coming into this stage, but uh, when you have a team like Bulls Goldman's and everybody was 100% behind me, uh, you can take some, I took some confidence in that. And I, I'm so proud to have, have finished it for all their hard work today.
and talk me through the final climb as well. You had United Healthcare, you had Amy Peters riding off the front for you. What happened? Yeah, uh, it was a little bit hectic coming into the base of the climb, but uh, it, it, it played out nicely for us. Amy, Amy went from the bottom and she went really hard and, and strung it out, and then uh, and then Carol Ann had a nice attack and had a separation and. Uh, they caught her back and then Anna went and uh, then it was my time to go after that. <laughs> and let's look ahead to tomorrow as well, a long, long climb in there. What's the tactic to defend the yellow? Yeah, um, I think we would like to keep it in the team and, and right now we're in a really good situation. I, I haven't actually seen the results but I see that Anna's in second. So um, I think we're in a good situation to, to play aggressively tomorrow. Best of luck and well done today. Thank you. We were lucky enough to get a camera on board Megan Guarnier's bike and her quest for back-to-back -back wins here on stage one. And look at this footage. It's absolutely spectacular. It goes to show just how open not just Megan Garnier is to have this on her bike, but also the women's peloton is to innovation and to showing fans the true beauty of the sport and showcasing what's, what women's racing is all about. Look at this, right on the wheel there of Anna van der Breg and her teammate. Uh, these onboard cameras really are a game changer, offering a new perspective on the race as we're inside the final 500 meters here. This was the race winning move when Megan Garnier goes by her teammate, Anna van der Breggen. You've got to think what is going through Megan Garnier's mind in this moment when she's absolutely held the leather to the line here. Everything, giving everything to the road after such a rough spring. This must have meant so much to her. Well, as Garnier goes across the line, she celebrates with the teammates. Let's take a listen as she's greeted by her Swanier and her Bulls Dolman's teammates. <laughs> so Megan Garnier climbs to the top step of the podium with the Bulls Dolman's women's cycling team embedded reporter Ruby Isaac joining her along with her teammate Anna van der Breggen and Arlena Sierra in third place for the Astana Pro team. So Garnier picks up yellow, green and polka dots with Sierra in the best young riders jersey and Lizzie Williams in the most courageous riders jersey. So that'll do it for us on stage one from the Amgen Broikwave Heart Disease women's race empowered with SRAM. Big day of climbing for stage two tomorrow. We'll see you there.